Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to Liu Live Everything in Wonder. We are Luca, Sara, and our little Luce. And we are back to Lucky Land. Our little cottage in the north of Italy. If you're new here, we are Luca and Sara from Liu Live Everything in Wonder. We traveled from Alaska to Argentina with an $800 old truck camper. And when we returned to Italy, we converted our minivan Luigi into a beautiful tiny home on wheels to be able to explore more of this beautiful world. I still feel surreal to be the three of us and not only the two of us, Luca and I, we are now a family. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel to enjoy the adventures of a curious Italian couple. We stayed one month almost in Merano, my hometown, where Luce was born and we stay almost two weeks at the hospital. Today, Sara had her last checkup here at the hospital in Merano. And uh, I don't know, I lose track of time. I don't know, we have been here for four or five weeks. I have no idea. One month, almost. Almost one month. Yeah. And uh, we spend a lot of time in the hospital, but now it's exciting because we are going uh, back home uh, and uh, the adventure at Lucky Land with our baby girl Luce is starting and it's real so I'm super excited we have a long drive uh, about six seven eight hours we don't know because uh, we need to stop uh, because Sara needs to rest uh, feed uh, our beautiful Luce so yeah, let's go. The car, as you may know and you may notice, uh, it's full. Daddy Claudio had to leave uh, Merano one week ago. So we gave him uh, everything uh, we thought we would not need, uh, but we had to keep a lot of things uh, for us and uh, for the baby. We managed to feed everything and the baby is sleeping. Uh, Luce is uh, sleeping uh, like an angel she loves uh, going uh, in the car so hopefully she will love uh, van life and travel with us uh, and uh, we'll see i feel better guys it was a very tough and hard week for me for everybody but as long as our luce is okay we are okay as well i'm recovering i'm still taking antibiotics till Sunday but I feel better I'm so grateful for the whole experience two weeks at the hospital was not you know easy but at least now we can go home in peace calm knowing that we are okay that we are healthy that we are safe when we arrived at the Lucky Land it was snowing so now it's spring again it's a little bit cloudy today but it's amazing to be back in our garden and see all the flowers. We also bought some plants Yes. for, for Luce. We'll show you in one second. Our first trip back home from Merano to, to Lucky Land was about, usually it's about five hours. It was We nine. took <laughs> nine hours because we had to stop and feed the Luce yeah. several times, uh, change diapers uh, and uh, yes. She's sleeping right now after the milk coma. <laughs> Finally, the nonne, the grandmothers, Bruna and my mom, they came here and they, they saw Lucio for the first, the very first time. And we have a video about that moment. My mom stayed with us for a few days so she could help us with you know preparing meals and cleaning we are settling at home we are trying to find our own rhythm the three of us right now we are alone it's amazing finally to be back home and to 
uh, to learn together how to to live together. It still feels surreal to be the three of us and not only the two of us, Luca and I. We are now a family. I am breastfeeding. I didn't give up, guys. Um, still breastfeeding and now it's not painful anymore. I'm using the lanolin cream and then I'm using my own milk and I use also the silicone cups that protect the nipples and now um, I'm starting not to use them anymore and it's not painful. It's amazing. I think that breastfeeding should not be painful but for everyone it's different. My own experience the first two weeks, two weeks and a half were very difficult. But now it's it's good again, so I'm enjoying this this process and this new experience in my life. Amore, do you want to show the plants that we bought for Luce? Yes, so we have uh, one over here, Camellia in English. White Camellia. And uh, we also bought a fig tree and uh, I planted yesterday down there. Look at this artichoke plant. It's beautiful. Do you think we could already start planting something or is it too early? I think uh, we still will have some snow. Okay. So I think it's too early to start planting. Maybe in the greenhouse we could start planting something. Okay. And then uh, move it to the ground uh, when uh, it's not snowing anymore. Here's the fig tree. Wow, beautiful. So the camellia and the fig tree, they will grow together with Lucha. Yes. Unfortunately, I have a bad news. When we went to Merano, we didn't thought that we had to stay so long. So my avocado trees uh, some of them uh, are completely dry and uh, they are dead. Some of them uh, I will be able to, uh, to save, save them. them. <laughs> yes, as you can see here, this one has survived. Uh, and uh, also this one. Uh, now I'm trying to, to take care of them and see which ones I will be able to save. But uh, it's painful to see them uh, like this because it took me one year to grow them. Uh, they are one year old uh, and uh, yeah, but I couldn't bring them with me to, to Merano and I had to leave them uh, into the greenhouse uh, because it was still snowing and freezing during the night uh, so they couldn't stay outside and obviously one month in here without uh, water uh, when it's sunny like this, even if it's cold, it gets really warm in here and uh, they, they basically dry and, uh, and burn. Yeah. They, are, they burn, they are dry. There is a bad news and a good news, because Luca, before we, we left, he did an experiment with another plant, a cherry tree, and I would like to show you because it's, it, it's amazing. Yes, in Italian we say innesto, innestare. Yeah. Basically we have uh, many wild cherry trees uh, which make uh, really small and not super good uh, cherries. So I went to the neighbor, I asked him uh, for some branches of uh, his uh, really good uh, and uh, delicious uh, cherry tree that uh, makes a really big and uh, nice cherries and uh, I use uh, the branches of the good uh, cherry tree to attach them to the wild cherry tree so basically from those new branches uh, it will grow and make uh, the beautiful sweet uh, delicious big uh, cherries so I'm super excited because it's the first time that I'm attempting uh, to do so. I attach uh, about uh, 10 uh, new branches and uh, basically everyone uh, survived. Uh. Lucia loves being outdoor and 
since she is a little bit yellow still, we are trying to expose her to the sunlight as much as we can. Not directly to the sunlight because it could be very, very dangerous for this delicate skin of the babies. But it's good for her to be in the nature and to breathe a very good air here at Lucky Land. And tomorrow we have the first visit with the pediatrician so we can check if everything is okay. They told me that being yellow could be okay if she's active and you know she's very alert, she's very active, she's eating a lot, so it should be okay. It's amazing to have this space outdoor where she can enjoy nature together with her parents. Amazing. Eh? Somebody got some flowers. But now we need to get back to work when we left Lucky Land to go to Merano for everything that you already know. We left some works to finish. For example, the bathroom downstairs, so we need to get back to work. It's almost 1 p.m. guys, and we haven't started yet the, the bathroom works. <laughs> because Luce has different plans. She is the boss, she is the one in charge of the plans of the house. So now we will eat something and then we will start uh, working on the bathroom. No, we have to follow the little princess rules. It's impossible to have plans with a newborn because um, sometimes, you know, people ask me how long does she sleep during the day, during the night. And it's impossible to say sometimes it's two, three hours, sometimes it's half an hour, sometimes it's four hours, but it's not the same every day. So it's almost... No, it's, it's always... Oh, bless you. Bless you. So it's not the same every day. It's everything new and so difficult also for her, right? The bathroom can wait. Our beautiful baby girl, Luce. Now it's afternoon and we can go work. You ready? Sarah, we must start. <laughs> it's hard to start, especially when uh, you have your little light, uh, luce, that keep you awake during the night. So we will start uh, unboxing uh, those cabinets uh, that we will be installing over here. Then we have uh, to install a cordon over here and uh, the changing table for uh, Luce. <laughs> Just moving from a place to another. Okay, let's open one and see how it you works. You can tell the truth. Where would you like to be right now in this moment? I would like to be on the sofa watching a, a movie with my Sarita on the under this uh, arm and uh, my little Luce under this other arm. Under the wings. Under the wings, <laughs> in front of the fireplace. It's really cold today. Yeah, today it's cold. We had wow. to start at the fireplace. Okay, let's unbox everything, guys. Do you think everything will fall? <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Time lapse. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Where? Where are we going? Nowhere. You see, two people, not one. You cannot do it no. by yourself. Two. Two. And there is not always one. one sitting like this, <laughs> watching, and the other one working, you know? You see one working, and the other one is on the phone. <laughs>
This looks amazing. Do you like it? Yeah. Beautiful. I was not sure about the gray, but it's almost not visible at all. Yeah. And then you have the black on this side and the gray on the other side. Cool. You need to tell me what height would you like them. I need to go to our princess. I can hear her. Good afternoon, princess. Do you want to say hi to your puppy? Ciao, puppy. <laughs> Ciao, puppy. Oh, oh. She's still tired. Amore, ciao. Sta sporca di latte. Luce. Ciao, amore. Are you looking your mommy? <laughs> Are you looking your daddy? Amore mio. Let's go change the diaper. Okay, I will then... keep uh, installing these ones. And I will see you her. later. Amore mio. Ciao, sì, sì. Andiamo, sì. andiamo, andiamo. Let's go. Let's go. Ciao. Ciao. She needs her milk. She wants her milk. Okay. This is the first time Luce is watching the fire. She likes to watch the fire. She's staring at the fire. Sara is uh, feeding uh, Luce, so in the meantime uh, I will start uh, assembling the changing station that will be down here. So then uh, when uh, she comes down again, we will install the curtain. Back to work. I'm back guys, I would like to show you the progress in the bathroom. Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. I already assembled the changing table. So this is the same that we have upstairs in our bedroom. And it will go here, yeah. but first uh, we need to install this pole with these two little pieces that will hold uh, a curtain. A curtain. Okay. I can hear Luce's screaming. Yeah. You know, there is. They told me that it's normal, quite normal. Okay, I should go. Uh, in babies, she's eating every two or three hours, but there is a time during the day, uh, in, in this case, in our case, after 6 pm that she wants to eat more, like it's every half an hour. It's a little bit long. We need to. Yeah, I can. I can make it tomorrow. I like it. <laughs> okay, and we have the new cabinets, and then the changing table for our luce, and the new curtain, so we can. <laughs> hide the mess behind yeah there is there are still a lot of things to finish yeah but for today i think yeah. we have done enough and we will see you tomorrow guys now we are going to eat and to feed lucha again <laughs> ciao beautiful people see you tomorrow ciao a domani ciao they say sleep when your baby sleeps you can get some rest and Sara is following that advice. Good morning.
morning. Good morning. We are going to the pediatrician. <laughs> Off roading. Uh, this is perfect. We we put it on soft here and on the front as well. So this is perfect for off road for lucky land roads. Yes. The visit with the doctor with the pediatrician and Luce is doing great she is growing she is healthy we will have to check just because we would like to be 100% sure because she's still a little bit yellow and we would like to, to see if everything is okay so we will do a blood test next week the doctor said that she is doing amazing it's good to be back home be able to stay outdoors. It's nice to know that Sara is feeling well, that baby girl is fine. I feel like a new person. I felt so sick at the hospital. I was really worried the first two or three days. I was trying to stay positive but inside me I felt so sick and I felt so weak that now I feel like yeah completely new person. I feel alive again, I feel healthy and it's beautiful to be back home. <laughs> yeah, now I'm laughing. Uh, I wasn't laughing so much at this hospital when Sarah was saying, I don't want to die. Uh, she was really... <laughs> yeah, but now it's in the past. Now we'll live in the moment, we'll live in the present. Baby girl, Luce is fine and we couldn't be happier. So we are in our garden because we received something today that yeah. we would like to show you. Oh, yeah. Ingrisina sent us this swing that is called Wave and we can wait to open to it to open it in our living room yes and use it uh, with our baby girl we will see this video on, on, on Sunday that will be Easter so happy Easter guys Of course, uh, the instructions go directly in Sarah's hands because she's the one who reads the instructions. I'm the one who watches the pictures. <laughs> ah, it's your day. It's all pictures. <laughs> Nothing to read. Only the pictures, guys. I love when it's all pictures. <laughs> Luce, do you want to try this wing? To wave? Let's try it. Piano, piano, piano. Piano, 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 piano. È per te, amore. This is for you, Luce. Do you like it? Some music? Thank you so much, Inglesina, for sending us this amazing gift. She will love it. You can also put this one, and she's a little bit bigger. And why Luce is relaxing and sleeping? We almost finished our bathroom. The cabinets are ready. Nice. Here we have the changing table, the curtain, so we can uh, fill all the space with many, many things. 
We have a mirror here and then these shelves. Yes. Probably we'll go there. Now we'll see. Yeah, and in the future when uh, we will not need uh, the changing table here, no longer need the changing table over there, we can close and make a big uh, storage or you know something bigger and just close it here with the door. Good job, my love. It's not finished yet. There are still a lot of things to do, but step by step, day by day, little details by little details, we will finish this bathroom, like all the house. It will take a lot of time, but it will be worth it. We are enjoying the sunset out here. For the very first time this year, it's a beautiful spring day today, so Luce is sleeping. So I think that we will sleep as well because our motto, parents' motto, is uh, sleep when your baby is sleeping. So it's the only way you can get some rest. Exactly. So beautiful people, we will enjoy out here the sunset, uh, this fresh breeze, and we hope you enjoyed today's episode. If so, please share it to us smashing the thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss a video and please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel if you haven't done already. We have a new addition to the family, our beautiful daughter Luce. She's so precious, yeah, she is adorable. The Italian words, the Italian sentence for today's video is Luce cresce ed è sana. Luce is growing and she is healthy. Luce cresce ed è sana. Luce is growing and she is healthy. So beautiful people. We will send you a big kiss, a big hug. We love you, we appreciate you. Thank you for coming along with us and please stay with us because we have a lot of new adventures to come. We will see you next Sunday and remember, la vita è bella. Life is beautiful. Ciao. Ciao.